So, Doctor, one of the things I saw on your website uh, was an opinion piece that you wrote, and uh, supplements have been in the news a lot lately. Uh, I can recall one earlier this year saying that supplements really just don't do anything, and then there was the one about vitamin D, which you wrote um, about. What's your opinion, and what's you, what have you seen uh, for their health benefits on, on, on supplements in general and vitamin D, which you wrote about? Well, um, vitamin D in particular over the years has turned out to be way more important than anyone ever realized. Mm -hmm. And we were educated that it had to do with calcium and bone, and that was kind of it. But it turns out that it's really a, a master controller of genes. It turns on and off genes and um, that stimulate the immune system, for example. And so if one were to go on their favorite search engine and pair it up, vitamin D3, with any disease, pretty much every disease is associated with low D3 levels. And I've seen a lot of people, including myself, use D3 to improve their health sometimes dramatically. What sort of things have you seen? I mean, it can be tied to, like you said, almost any uh, pretty condition. Much, pretty much any disease. Well, the one where it gets the immediate effect, maybe the most dramatically, is in a treatment for an acute viral infection. Yeah. That um, if I were to be feeling a cold coming on right now, then I would want to, within 15 minutes, take 50,000 units of D3. And uh, I don't have it right on me at the moment. If that happened, I maybe could find it downstairs. I don't know. But um, so there's a certain amount of pr preparation involved because if you don't get it in a timely manner, it won't work. Mm -hmm. But if you do, it does, and that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then if you have people who have chronic viral infections, you know, recurrent herpes or AIDS or they get colds all the time or whatever it is, if they take on a daily basis between five and 10,000 units, then the likelihood is that their recurrent infections will stop recurring. So how much do we need then? The recommended daily allowance or dosages seems quite small compared to some of the numbers that, right. that you talk about. So the, the people on the D bandwagon, on the vitamin D mm -hmm. bandwagon, most of us are recommending between five and 10,000 units a day. Some people will recommend 2,000 units a day, but usually between five and 10. And the possibility of, an, of, uh, of getting too much, it's nearly impossible, but it is possible. And so one should, if you're taking a lot, get a test maybe once a year or at once every few years. Mm -hmm. And where do you want that to be when you get that test? What are the, what are the numbers you're looking for? Well, I would say between 50, I forget what the actual unit is, but nanomoles, nanograms, nanograms per ml, or something yeah. like that. Uh, between 50 and 80, but even higher could be good too. And mm -hmm. uh, I think they're saying that it's, that it, uh, well, for a long time I was hearing that over 100 wasn't good, but now I'm hearing, no, you have to be up to 200 really to worry about a problem. Mm -hmm.